Hello, this is Jeff at Magical Fruit Toots. In this tutorial, I will show you how to make text rotating around a spinning object using the 3D capabilities of Photoshop Creative Cloud. On a 1440 by 720 300 dpi screen, place white text on a black background. The text should stretch across the document from left edge to the right edge. Flatten the document. Save it as textmask.psd. Also save it as text.psd. From the 3D menu, choose New Mesh from Layer, Mesh Preset Sphere. This will create a 3D sphere with the text texture wrapped around the center. Choose the sphere material. Choose a texture for your text. I chose gold with a 70% shine and a 20% reflection. Click on the folder icon to the right of the opacity slider and load texture. Choose the text mask file saved earlier. This file will mask out all the sphere except the letters. In order to see what's happening, Add a layer filled with black to the bottom of the layer stack. Make the background layer active. Zoom in a little to see better. Select the sphere object. Then select the scale tool to increase the size of the text ring a bit. Select the orbit tool and drag to tilt the letters a little forward. Use the Roll tool to tilt the letters a little to the left. Save as TextRing.psd. Place in bed the Mars Texture Map. The link is in the description area. With the Mars Texture Layer selected, choose Mesh from Preset, Spear. Then click Create. Zoom out a bit to see the entire scene. Place embed the star field into the scene. The link is in the description area. Expand the star field to fit around the image as shown here. Drag down the star field layer. While the Starfield layer is active, choose 3D Postcard, then press Create. Select all three layers at once. Then choose Merge 3D Layers from the 3D menu. Now let's change some names to avoid confusion. In the Layers panel, rename Starfield to Scene. In the 3D panel, rename the Sphere object to Text Ring. Then rename the bottom Sphere object to Mars. Now let's check the positioning of the objects. Go to Current View. Then choose Top View from the Properties panel. The Text Ring should be surrounding Mars and centered around it. If not, you can select the Mars object and use your 3D tools to adjust it. When the 3D objects were merged, they merged in the center of each other. We need to move the Starfield postcard back behind Mars. While still in the top view, select the Starfield mesh, then select the 3D drag tool. While holding Shift, drag the star field till it is completely past the Mars object as shown. Go back to Current View, then choose Front View from the Properties panel. The text ring needs to move up a little higher. Select the text ring object, 
then rotate tool. Drag up while holding shift on the move on Y axis control. Select current view. Turn off the image based lights. Add a new infinite light. Set light intensity to 117%. Adjust the light as desired. Turn off the shadow. Go back to current view. I've noticed that the Mars texture looks a little flat and should be more red. To fix it, choose the Mars texture. Then choose the specular color swatch and pick a red-orange color. Then choose the minus one option. Adjust the intensity slider as necessary. Go back to current view. Save your work as scene.psd, then save as scene-animate. That way, if we mess up the animation, we can always return to scene.psd to get a fresh start. We will start the animations with the text ring. Open up the timeline. If Create Frame Animation is showing, click the drop-down and choose Create Video Timeline. Then click the Create Video Timeline button. Shrink the view by clicking the single triangle at the bottom of the timeline three times. Resize all layers to 12 seconds. Make sure you're still in the scene layer. Adjust your frame rate as necessary. I use 30 frames per second to get a smooth rotation. Rearrange the screen to get more space for the timeline. Twirl down the scene layer, then twirl down the 3D meshes. Make sure the playhead is all the way to the left. The text ring should be chosen, and that the move tool is active. Now click the stopwatch for the text ring object. A yellow keyframe marker should appear. Drag the playhead to the 4 second marker. Go to current view. In the properties panel, change the view to top. Select the text ring object. In the properties panel, in the coordinate view, Make sure Show 3D Dimensions is checked. Use the Orbit tool to drag the Rotate on Y axis handle towards the right of the screen for 120 degrees. If you can't get exactly 120 degrees, it's okay if you are a few tenths of a degree off. Let go of the mouse. A gray keyframe marker should appear below the 4 second mark in the object row. Drag the playhead to 8 seconds. Carefully continue as before. Drag the playhead to 12 seconds. Continue the same process again. Change the current view with default position and test the rotations. You can test the animations using the tape recorder like controls. The letters should be revolving so you can read them from left to right. The first playthrough on the recorder is slower because it's rendering as it goes. The green line is showing what is being rendered.
the second time it's much faster. We'll follow pretty much the same procedure for the Mars animation. However, we'll rotate it in the opposite direction. While in the current view, select the top view. The playhead should be at the starting position. Now select the Mars object. Turn on the stopwatch for the Mars mesh. Starting at the 4 second marker, use the rotate on Y axis tool to rotate to the left and follow the same procedure as before. Move to the 8 second marker. Rotate minus 120 degrees. Move to the 12 second marker. Rotate minus 120 degrees. When finished, Rotating, select the default view and play the animation. Now the planet and the text are rotating in opposite directions. I've sped up the video to save time. Next we will animate the star field to make it appear that the planet is moving in space. The playhead should be at the ending marker. Select the Starfield Mesh object. Turn on the Starfield Stopwatch. This locks the normal Starfield view at the end of the animation. Now go back to the starting playhead position at zero seconds. Zoom out to see the entire Starfield and space around it. With the Orbit tool selected, use Scale Uniformly to increase the size of the star field as shown here. Let go of the mouse when done. Go back to current view, zoom back in, and test the animation. The planet should appear to be traveling in space. I have sped up the video here to save time. Next, we will render the video. Move the playhead back to the starting position. Click the Render Video icon. Select the file name, Location and Subfolder. Use the Adobe Media Encoder and format H.264. If your video card supports OpenGL and it's active in the 3D settings, you can use the Interactive Render option, which is significantly faster than the other two options. Otherwise, for now, choose Ray Traced Draft. I used Ray Traced Draft for this tutorial. It took about a minute or two. I've sped up the video here to save time. Hope you've enjoyed this video. You can also use this technique with previously created or imported models. Here is another animation I have made with this technique based on a model created in a previous video.